um, I hear the DOH repeatedly saying they have requested 104 billion. However, understanding the nuances of uh, appropriations and budgetary requirements at this point of time, baka hindi siya ganung kadaling hanapin. Are you ready with a list of projects or list of line items that you can realign and instead put it for the procurement of vaccines under 2022 as a line item budget? Siguro naman baka yung mga ibang um, virtual naman ngayon. So wala masyadong gastos sa mga catering. Wala masyadong, wala masyadong gastos sa travels. Like the boutique ng bayan, um, many, many generic pharmacies are already operating there and it's, it's an income generating ever of LGUs. Maybe we can shift that to vaccines for the meantime and have the boutique ng bayan funded under an program fund. And what other programs do you have, Honorable Secretary, that the DOH family, kunyari, sabihin ng DOF, DBM, wala kami mapagkunang pera eh. We should be prepared to identify some of our, we, we have to choose eh. Ano yung ibang pwede nating maisakripisyo para mabigyan ng pondo ang bakuna because it's a matter of our survival for the coming years. Do, do we have that list, um, Honorable Secretary? Oh, yes, Madam Chair, I reassure uh, the uh, Honorable uh, Representative that uh, the alignment uh, is done and will be done again given the uh, compelling uh, <laughs> reasons for uh, prioritizing our uh, vaccination program uh, against COVID. So I stand with you shoulder to shoulder, uh, Madam Representative, that uh, we will identify uh, uh, projects and programs uh, from where we can source the uh, realigned uh, funds to uh, support a uh, much more uh, vigorous uh, immunization program against COVID. 